Welcome to Contacts. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the accounting equation. None of our previous lessons, we looked at what the accounting equation is and explained how it works and how it affects assets, equity, and liabilities. So it was just a brief explanation. But in this lesson, we're going to be looking at various examples on how to do the accounting equation and exactly how the accounting equation works. This is where we look at all the accounts that affect the balance sheet and establishing how each transaction relates to the balance sheet. Remember the balance sheet is assets, equity and liabilities. That is exactly what the accounting equation looks at and you'll see with the, num with, with, with the help of a few examples. This is a great foundation and explanation of the double entry accounting system. So if you do not understand the accounting, how the double entry accounting system works or you'd like to understand more, the accounting equation will be a great foundation to help you understand that better. So let's take a look at these examples. We know that the accounting equation is assets equals equity plus liabilities. And that is exactly how the balance sheet works. Our assets, our total assets have to equal our total equity and liabilities. When we look at transactions, we'll see how that must balance with each transaction that takes place. So. Remember, we said in our previous example or in our previous lesson that assets is what you own, your equity is the owner's claim to the business, and the liabilities is what you owe or the liability or the obligations of the business. So that is what we have to remember with each of these three, knowing that assets, what assets are, what equity is, and what liabilities are. So let's get right ahead with our example. The first transaction tells us that the owner deposits 50,000 rand into the business. The owner deposits 50,000 rand into the business. When the owner deposits 50,000 rand into the business, the first question is, what are the two accounts involved there? Well, the first account involved is bank because there's money coming into the business. And the second one is capital because the owner depo is depositing money into the business. That means he's investing in the business. So we have bank and capital. And that's the thing with the with the, with the accounting equation, you have to know what accounts are involved. Then you'll be able to know what affects assets, what affects equity, and what affects liabilities. So if you do not know, what, where do we put bank? Is it assets, equity, or liabilities? Or where do we put capital? Is it assets, equity, or liabilities? We have a lesson specifically explaining what assets are and giving a few examples on those and what equities are and what liabilities are. And we've given examples for each. So you'll be able to know where to plug this number. So if you'd like to check that one out, you can click on the link on the top right of the screen or in the description below. But now that we know it's bank and capital, we know that bank is an asset as per our example, our previous lesson that I've just referred to. And we know that capital is equity, goes under the equity section. So bank, sometimes you can, they can call it cash. So if you call it cash or bank, that's still fine. So we put plus 50,000 rand. The sign is very important whether it's a plus or minus. So you you make sure you put it. So we put plus 50,000 rand because money is coming into the business. That means the bank is increasing or the cash in the bank is increasing. That's why we have a plus there. What is the second one? We said it's capital and capital is equity. So capital is also increasing. So it's plus 50,000 rand. And we can see that our assets equals equity plus liabilities because we have nothing in, in liabilities, but we have 50,000 rand in assets and 50,000 rand in equity. So assets still equal equity plus liabilities. So let's move on to our second example. On the 3rd of January, we are told that we purchased inventory for 7,000 rand and it was paid for in cash. Now, what are the two accounts involved there? I'm sure you now know that cash is an asset or bank is an asset because cash and bank you can use that interchangeably so bank is an asset so we have bank of seven thousand rand is it a plus or minus it's a minus because money is leaving our business we're using that money to purchase inventory and that's what we are told here in the question so that's mon money is our first account what is the second one the second one is inventory because inventory is coming in to the business so we were going to have bank and inventory so we know that bank is an asset what is inventory is it an asset equity or liabilities well if you guessed asset then you are correct because inventory is an asset now a trick with the accounting equation if you do not understand or knowing what accounts are involved you always ask yourself what did i buy and what did i use to buy it or what did i buy it with so what did i buy or why did the money go out and what came in 
or why, what was I paying for? Then you'll be able to figure out, oh, money went out, so that's bank. And what was it going out for? It was going out to buy inventory. So inventory is your second account. So let's plug it in. Plus inventory, because inventory is coming into the business. And you put minus bank, because money is going out of the bank. So you can see we replaced one asset with another asset. We took out money from the bank, but we brought in inventory. And that's how the accounting equation is. Just figuring out what is an asset, what is equity, and what is liabilities, and ensuring that they still balance. Because if you add all your assets and add all your equity and liabilities, they still balance. Asset is still equals equity plus liabilities. Because you have 50,000 rand on the asset side, 50,000 rand on the equity side, nothing on liabilities. And of course, the 7,000 rand cancels each other out with the 7,000 rand because it's an asset coming in and an asset going out with the same amount. So let's move on to the third transaction. On the 7th of January, we bought equipment for 120,000 rand by form of a long-term loan. So what happened here? What did we buy and what did we use to buy it? We bought equipment. And what is equipment? Equipment is an asset. So we're going to put it in the asset section. And then what did we use to buy it? We used a long-term loan. What is a long-term loan? Well, look at the descriptions for assets, equity, and liabilities. Loan is what we owe. So it's a liability. We all the loan. So if we use the loan to buy equipment, it's going to be under liabilities. So we put plus equipment, 120,000 rand because equipment is coming into the business. And then we go to liabilities. We put plus 120,000 rand. Why is it a plus? Because our liabilities are increasing. That means we are owing more. We're owing 120,000 rand now. Again, you ensure that your asset still equals equity plus liabilities, and that is correct because we have 120,000 rand on the asset side and 120,000 rand on the on the liability side. We have nothing on equity for this transaction. Let's move on to the next one. On the 15th of January, we bought inventory for 10,000 rand on credit from the suppliers. So this time we bought inventory again, but we did not use cash. We bought it on credit. That means we owe our suppliers. So what are the two accounts? Well, the first one there we have is inventory. So we're going to put inventory and it's an asset. It's coming into the business, so it's plus. And then we have our accounts payable. Why do I call it accounts payable? Because when we buy inventory, whenever we buy merchandise or stock or inventory on credit, it goes under accounts payable or creditors control. So the terms, one of, the, one of those two terms you may be using. And we're buying it from our suppliers. So that's what we do. So we've got plus to inventory, 10,000 rand. Inventory is coming in. And what did we use to buy it? We used, uh, we bought it on credit. So plus 10,000 rand accounts payable. Was it, why is it a plus? Because our liabilities are increasing. We are owing more. So the only time liabilities will be a negative is when we are paying it back. Let's move on to the fifth one. We are told the depreciation for equipment for the period was 1,200 rand. 1,200 rand. Now, this may be a tricky one for you, but if you know it, if you've looked at some of our previous lessons and you'd find them in the link, in the in, in the disc, in the links in the description below where we explain what depreciation is and how we put it in a journal entry and how we'll do it also here in the accounting equation. So depreciation is an expense. And whenever we have a depreciation and we have to do a transaction for it, we're going to have depreciation and accumulated depreciation on equipment because this depreciation relates to equipment. What is accumulated depreciation on equipment? Accumulated depreciation on equipment is a negative asset. So it goes under the asset side, but it's a negative asset. So let's record it. We have minus 1,200 rand of depreciation. And why do we put it under equity? Because it's an expense. And an expense reduces our profits. And our profits usually goes to the equity section of the balance sheet. So in essence, all our capital, our drawings, our income, and our expenses are recorded under equity. All our expenses that you put under equity will be put as a negative. All our incomes that we will put under equity will be put as positives. Our drawings, if the owner taking out something from the business, either money or equipment or assets, any other asset, we put it as a negative. And capital, whenever money comes in, when the, whenever the owner invests, we put it as a positive. So that's just something to note. Under equity, we have capital, drawings, income, and expenses. We know that depreciation is an expense. That's why we put it as a negative under equity. And what is the other account? Well, like I said, it's accumulated depreciation on equipment. So you have to specify that it's on which asset. So this one is on equipment. So we put minus 1,200 because it's reducing our assets. Depreciation 
means that our equipment is losing value. So that's why we put it minus 1,200 Rand. Now, if you can see, our assets still equal equity plus liabilities. If you can go through each transaction that we did, you can see that they still balance. And that is how we do our accounting equation. I hope that has made sense. If you'd like to learn more, we have done a very similar example, but we're doing the journals. So we're generalizing all these transactions. These very transactions that we've used to do the accounting equation is the same ones we've used to do the journal entries. If you'd like to check that one out, you can click on the links in the description below where we've written debits and credits, general journal. So you can click on that to know how we do the journal entries for these specific transactions. Otherwise, if you've gained value from this lesson, please consider subscribing to our channel, liking this video and our other videos and sharing it if you can. Till next time. Cheers.